Hello everybody, this is Marta on YouTube. Today I have this super fast get ready with me because I'm going to a dinner type thing. Uh, so if you guys are interested in how I got this look, then keep on watching. So this is just me curling up my hair. So what I did besides, I when I finished showering, I blowed out my hair. Um, just blow dry it uh, to make it a little bit straighter, to make it less frizzy. And then I started to curl, curl my hair. I used my straightener by New Me and that's pretty much what I did. I kind of went in different directions with my, uh, which each, each strand of hair that I was grabbing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I did for my hair. Just grab big strands, small strands, uh, one going towards my neck and one going towards my face. So really just, um, it depends on what you prefer. I prefer more of a messy, beachy look. If you guys want me to do a more in-depth uh, look of how I do this, then please let me know down in the comments below. But it's a pretty simple thing. And if you guys are wondering why I'm laughing all the time in this video, it's because I was watching uh, The Odd Ones Out hamsters and cats video. So yeah, that's that. So now for the makeup. I am using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer as usual. Uh, and I'm also going to be using my Jaclyn Hill The Bolt Palette in Armed and Gorgeous and Ring the Alarm. Uh, I kind of tend to mix all of the palettes at some point, so yeah, I'm just blending out the concealer, the Urban Decay Na Naked Skin Concealer, to use as my base. Now, I am starting with Axis, which is more of a yellowy eyeshadow and I'm gonna be applying this to the crease of my eyes and this is just gonna help me this is just gonna be the transition color so it's just gonna help everything look more blended and more kind of smoked out then I'm using a clean brush and just kind of blending everything um, and yeah I just keep on blending on until I feel like it's perfect for me uh, now I'm going to be taking Agent, which is a darker orangey color, yellow orangey color, and I'm going to be placing this pretty much in the same way, just a little bit lower than Axis, and I'm going to be placing this on the outer corner of my eye, on my crease, a little bit even on the outer corner specifically, because that's just going to help me make it look more um, smoky eye, and since this is going to be a cut crease it's just better to start doing that right now so again I'm just taking the brush and just blending everything out that's pretty much what I'm doing here now I'm taking a darker color and that is a smooth criminal uh, all of these three colors are from the armed and gorgeous palette and I'm just placing that to the outer corner and just kind of blending it in uh, to my crease a little bit now I'm taking Secret and Smooth Criminal, both of them together. Secret is from Ring the Alarm palette, and I'm just going to be placing that on the outer corner of my eye. I feel like Smooth Criminal wasn't uh, dark enough for this kind of cut crease that I wanted. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right here. Just add a little bit, smoke it out, add, blend it out, and that's pretty much the science behind it now I'm using my shape tape concealer I feel like this concealer is the best to do um, cut creases simply because of the consistency it has uh, and I'm just using a flat shader brush this one is by Urban Decay it came with the naked three palette I believe um, and I'm just you know cutting my crease uh, whatever shape whatever feels like works best for you definitely do that I try to make 
my eyelid look bigger since I have such a small eyelid um, but it really depends on what you like now I'm taking balm ass and it's this kind of pinky orangey peachy tone that I really really like this is one of my favorite shadows from that palette again with another shader brush and I'm just patting that into my crease into my eyelid I'm sorry and that's pretty much what I do and then with my finger I'm gonna be taking Loli and I'm gonna be applying that to the center of the eyelid and that is just gonna make it more open and then I'm also gonna take a little bit of smooth criminal and secret and just start blending it in with the part that is the cut crease on the eyelid uh, it just makes it kind of blend together kind of look more seamless which is what I personally like uh, I like the cut crease on the top but not on my eyelid uh, but yeah that's pretty much it and then I'm starting to blend everything together I tried to make the cut crease a little bit more noticeable I felt like a little bit of my uh, axis was blown away so I just added a little bit more of that and I also uh, use a little bit of my uh, powder to to set underneath my brow and then again I'm taking secret and smooth criminal together and I'm just applying that to the outer corner to make it darker which is honestly what I want this is lolly this is the one that I'm applying to the center of the eyelid then I'm lining my eyes this is the Kat Von D liquid ink or the liquid liner I really don't know what it's called but yeah that is that I'm using two mascaras today so I'm using my Colossal Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline and I'm also using Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced uh, that's that Brush, uh, brushes um, foundation so right here I'm using my smoothie skin uh, my skin primer this is by First Day Beauty coconut skin primer smoothie something like that it's called I completely forgot right now for the foundation I'm gonna be using my NARS radiant longwear foundation and my Mac um, face and body foundation together you guys know I love that mix it just really works for my skin uh, for concealer I'm gonna be taking my Tarte shape tape in medium light and I'm just gonna blend that out in my face then that's pretty much what I do in here you can see me blend my eyeshadow this is a Morphe brush which I do not remember the name of um, but I will try to leave it down below if not please remind me because I I'm probably gonna forget uh, but yeah I just kind of um, blend this in circular motions all over my face try to bring it down my neck as well you can see one side I completely forgot to do that and then I remembered and it is done 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 so for my concealer I actually use it underneath my eyes obviously I do it on the bridge of my nose I do it on my forehead around my mouth and in the middle of my chin and that just uh, brings a lot of lightness to the face sometimes if you only do your under eyes uh, it kind of doesn't look complete so I prefer to do everything oh I didn't do my forehead that's that's the first oh I think because the eyes were so heavy I use a little bit of the eyes on my forehead because I don't have a forehead so yeah you know that's completely normal so again I'm using a real techniques brush to blend this out but for kind of really blending into the foundation I use the same Morphe brush as you can see here I change uh, brushes it's just it helps it look better then for underneath the eyes I pretty much do exactly the same thing that I did on my upper um, eyelid so I use axis and then I use agent and then I use a little bit of smooth criminal and secret together and that's pretty much all I do for my lower lashes
that just helps me define a little bit the lower lash line and the lash line itself uh, my lower lash line like literally just the lashes um, then for my eyebrows I'm using my deep brow um, by Anastasia Beverly Hills I have two colors I think one is auburn and the other one is dark chocolate honestly right now I don't remember and then I'm using my Mac uh, eyebrow gel as well I love that stuff I definitely recommend it to you guys if you haven't tried it and I, I think I have a video on how I do these brows if not I'm gonna film that and I will show you guys how I do it but yeah it's super simple and it's one of my favorite ways to do my eyebrows and then I think that's pretty much it for the lips I'm using my Lolita Backup on D as well that's one of my favorite um, lip liquid lipsticks and I definitely recommend that to you guys if you haven't tried it if you haven't you are living under a rock you need to try it because it's amazing but yeah that's pretty much it for bronzer I use a MAC bronzer I use a kind of pinky blush and then I use my Fenty Beauty uh, kilowatt highlighter and Hustle Baby and that's pretty much all the makeup we use today So yeah, that was the whole get ready with me. You guys will see a video this Friday, a bookish Friday. Uh, but that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys like it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because it really does help me out. And I'll see you later. Bye.